Hello everybody, welcome to Mathetic Original channel. Thank you for watching our videos. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Today's video is, is just a review on how to write explicit formula for quadratic function. So if you are watching this video right now, I hope you find it useful. So let's begin. The first question we have is, if f of x equal x square, what is f of negative 5? If f of x equal x square, what is f of negative 5? So what they're asking us here is to find, now remember, remember, f of x is the same thing as saying y, okay? So f of x is the same thing as saying y. So what they're asking us is what is the value of y if x is negative 5? So in this case, the value of x is negative 5. Okay, so x is equal to negative 5. So this number right here in standard parentheses, they are the value of x. It is the value of x. So if x equal to negative 5, so what is y? okay so all you do when you have a question like this you take that number that is between the parentheses you replace it by you substitute it for x okay so if f of x equal x square then we know x is negative 5 then we can say f of x is equal negative 5 now it is important that you put it bet uh, between the parentheses okay so square so negative 5 square is like saying negative 5 times negative 5 okay so negative times negative is positive and 5 times 5 is 25 so f of x so f of negative 5 is equal 25 Okay, f of negative 5 is equal to 25. Okay, so here's another question. So you say, identify and match each function represented with a table of value as linear, exponential, quadratic, or neither. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to identify. And then we're gonna write the recursive and the explicit formula for the table that is linear the one that is quadratic and the one that is exponential then we're gonna decide which one going faster okay so let's uh, let's see the first table right here uh, the first thing I'm going to do, now remember, it is linear if we have a common difference. It is exponential if we have a common ratio. And if it, uh, it is uh, quadratic if we have a second difference. So, we're going to find out. So, over here, what do I add to 8 to get 12? So, we're going to check first if it is linear. So, to get 12, so I add 4. Okay, so 8 plus 4 is 12, and 12 plus 18, 12, so what do I add to 12 to get 18? So that would be 6, and what do I add to 18 to get 27? That would be uh, 9, that would be 9, okay? So it is not linear, so let's see if it is quadratic. So if it is quadratic, then I, have, I must have a second difference. So what do I add to 4 to get 6? That will be 2. And what do I add to 6 to get 9? That will be 3. So it's not quadratic neither. So it's not linear, it's not quadratic. So let's see if it is uh, exponential. If it is uh, exponential. Now for exponential, what we're going to do is we're going to have to do some division. Okay. So let me, so we know it's not linear, it's not quadratic. So let's see if there is something that's, can be uh we can multiply it by to get 12 okay 
So if we do 12 divided by 8, so that's equal 1.5. Okay, so 8 times 1.5. So 8 times 1.5 is equal to 12. So let's see what is 12 times 1.5 going to give us. So 12 times 1.5 is also is equal to 18. 1.5 is equal to 18. And 18 times 1.5 is equal to 27. Okay. 18 times 1.5 is equal to 27. So this one right here, because it has a common ratio. Okay. So that's when you can see. I have uh, uh, it's going by a factor of 1.5 so that's the common ratio so because you have a common ratio then it is exponential okay now for table B so we have a uh, when X is we got 0 so to get from 0 to 10 we have to add what 10 we add 10, 0 plus 10 is 10, and from 10 to 22, we add 12. From 22 to 36, we add 14. Okay, so now we can see this one is not linear. So let's see if it is quadratic. From 10 to 12, so I add 2. So I'm going to use a different color here. I add 2. From 12 to 14, I also add 2. So we can see we have a common difference. We got a second difference here. So therefore, this one is quadratic. So we have a second difference. Okay. So table C, uh, 27 to 20. So that's is, uh, you, you subtract, we subtract 7. So we add minus 7. From 20 to 10, here we, we, uh, minus 10. And from 10 to 17, we minus, we add 7, right? So we add 7 here. So again, this one is not linear because the number changed. But let's see, to let's check to see if it is quadratic. We use a different color here. So from negative 7 to negative 10, we subtract 3. All right, negative 7 minus 3 is negative 10. From negative 10 to 7, we add, well, from negative 10 to 7, we add, uh, we add 17, we add 17, all right? So negative 10 plus 17 equals 7. So it's, it's not quadratic neither. So let's see if it is uh exponential so it's not linear it's not quadratic so we're gonna erase this so now we're gonna check to see if it is uh exponential so by doing we're gonna do 20 divided by 27 okay 20 divided by 27 is uh 0 0.74 so that's mean if i do 20 times 0 0.74 I got 14, so it's not exponential either. So this one is, it's not linear, it's not exponential, it's not quadratic. So this one is not it. Okay. And the last one, table D. So let's see, what do we add? What do we add? Uh, from 27 to 29, so we subtract 2, right? Or we add 2. So, we add 2, 27 plus 2 is 29, and 29 plus 2 is 31, and 31 plus 2 is 33. So that's, that's have a common difference, so that one is linear. Okay. So we know, uh, now, so we identify each one as being linear, exponential, quadratic, or neither. So we have, this one is neither, so we don't need it. So we have a uh, linear, we got quadratic. We have a linear, quadratic, and exponential. Now, we're going to write out an explicit, and a recursive, an explicit formula for each one of them. Okay? So, let's start with the linear one.
table A, well, table D. So for table D, well, let's start with table A, table A. So a recursive formula would be f of n, f of x, f of x equal f of x minus 1. So since this is exponential, then it's going to be time the common ratio. Okay, so time the common ratio, which is 1.5, giving that f of 0 equal 8 f of 0 equal 8 so that's the recursive so that's the recursive so the explicit for that one the explicit is f of x equal now the, the the zero term is is eight, all right? So we're starting with the zero term. Eight time the common ratio. Okay. Time the common ratio, which is one point five, raised to the n power. Well, in this case, it's not n. In this case, is x. All right, so we start with the zero term time the common ratio raised to the x power. Again, if I did use the first term, then that would be x. If, if that was the first term, which is 12, if I use 12, then that would have been x minus 1. Okay, so so that's for table A. So let's do let's do the linear for next, which is table D. Okay, so we're going to do the linear, which is the table D. So we're doing table D. So and then we're gonna we're gonna write the recursive and the explicit for it. Okay. We're gonna do the recursive and the explicit. Now the recursive for the linear is the same thing as the exponential. So f of x equal f of x minus 1 plus the common difference in this case the common difference is 2 so plus 2 okay and 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 the giving that f of 0 equal 27 now the explicit one will be f of x equal Uh, the common difference which is 2 and we're going to use the zero term so we're going to be 2x plus and the zero term is 27 so plus 27 okay so the zero term is 27 so uh now so just so you don't get confused uh, that's the same way uh that's the same thing as saying here f of x equal the zero term first you put the zero term first 27 plus the common difference which is in this case 2 factor of x okay so since we use the zero term so if that was the first term again if that was the first term that i use if that was the first term that i use then out of let's say I use the first term which is 29. So then I'll have 29 plus 2 factor of x minus 1. Okay, so since I use the zero term, so that's x minus 0, which is 0. But this is the proper way to write it. Okay, so even though you got that answer, make sure you switch it back to that form so that it look like a uh, a linear function in um at least in slope and in slope and set form. Okay.
So, uh, so that will be the answer for this one. So that is the answer for this one. That's the exponent, uh, explicit one. Now we're gonna do the quadratic one. Okay, so we're gonna do the quadratic one. So now the quadratic one is table B. Okay, so we're gonna do table B, which is the quadratic one. So uh, the first thing we know, we know, we know we have a. Uh, uh, the quadratic function is written as as a uh, f of x f of x equal a x square plus b x plus c. So that's the standard form. Okay. So and we also know that the a value so a is equal to the second difference divided by two so half of the second difference which is in this case uh, our second difference is two so it's two divided by two which make a value equal one so we need that number and the second thing we're gonna do is to find c okay so we know the c value is f of zero so c is equal to f of zero so we're gonna go back to the table I'm gonna go back to the table and find where what is the value of f of x when x is zero okay so when x is zero the value of h of x so is zero so this one is h so we have f so this one is h of zero so since h of zero which is equal to zero. So therefore, the value of C will be zero. Now, we need to find H of one, H of one. So H of one, H of one equal, again, all we have to do is go back to the table and find H of one, that's one. So H of one is 10, okay? So H of one is 10. So we're gonna have h of one equal to 10, and we need that number as well. Now, to find b, we know h of one is equal to a plus b plus c. So h of one is 10 equal to one plus b plus c is zero. All right, so plus zero. So one plus zero is one. So, uh, anything at zero, so we got 10 equal one plus B. So all we have to do now is subtract one on both side. So that'll make 10 minus one is nine equal to B. So we know B is equal to nine. Now that we have the, all this, we can go ahead and write out the formula. So the formula is going to be h of x, h of x equal, so a is 1, so we don't need that one, so it's just x squared plus a b is 9, so plus 9x. And c is 0, so we don't need it. So that's the explicit form for the quadratic, right? So that's the explicit form for the quadratic. Okay, so that is the explicit form for the quadratic. Okay. So uh, let me let me write it a bit closer. So we know h of x space h of x equal you know I can put in that comma right here h of x equal x square plus nine x. 
okay of h of x equal x factor of x plus 9 so it does the same thing so it does the same thing so now this is to find explicit so that's the explicit okay so this is the explicit of the quadratic now we still need to find it the uh, recursive one for it. so I shall do it first but uh I forget so that's the explicit for the quadratic so now let's find a recursive one down here recursive now to find a recursive one so we need to have f of that's h we're gonna have h of x equal h of x minus one and plus something here so that something is what we're gonna do here is to find is to find um is to find the the uh explicit formula for the first difference so to do that so uh we got h of x equal h of x minus one uh plus something we're gonna have here plus some kind of expression now again what's gonna go here is the uh, uh in, in in this part right here that's supposed to be the explicit of the first difference okay so that's the explicit of the first difference so we need to find that so we're gonna go ahead back and 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 i have a video about like how to write the recursive formula for a quadratic you know table so uh if you need a full understanding of that you can go ahead and watch that video and that will really help you understand how to find how to write recursive formula for quadratic table okay so now we're just gonna move uh with this uh so so to write the explicit formula so this is the first the first term is 10 12 and 14. so 10 is uh in this case is our first term so 10 is our first term so we're gonna say well 10 plus the common difference right which is 2 factor of x minus 1 because that's 10 is connected with the 1 okay so the 10 is for the 1 i'm talking about the second 10 in, uh i'm talking about the second 10 in blue that's with the one not this 10 but the second one so that's with that one so so uh therefore we're gonna have x minus one so we had x minus one so uh 10 plus 2 factor of x minus one now if we simplify that we're gonna have 10 so we're gonna have uh if we simplify that we're gonna have 10 plus 2x minus 2 okay and 10 minus 2 is equal 8 so we're gonna have 2x plus 8 so this is what we're gonna have over here so if we go ahead and we write that function the recursive formula so we're gonna have h of x equal h of x minus 1 plus 2x plus 8 and that will be our recursive formula for this quadratic all right let's do another question see what the what else we have so in this question they say create an explicit equation to represent the number of square in each figure so uh what we're gonna do uh the easiest way to do that now there are several ways to do it like if you look at this pattern here okay so there is one square so i'm gonna put it now in blue 
okay there is one square here but around that one square you got four square okay so for figure one so let's say if we call that n square and then if you look over here you got for figure two you got a uh, four square put that in blue so you guys can see the pattern you got four square so which is figure two square and then a one it you got what well, you got those one right here all right and that's going for and then over here you got nine for figure three and nine is pretty much like three square okay so and then you have these one and one here we got one set of four and we got another set of four and we got another set of four okay so we could have put out the equation from that but let's let's do uh the easiest way which is the table so you guys can see clearly what's going on uh let's see uh if we make that table right here so that's that's a figure that's that's figures and that's number of uh number of squares so i'm gonna call this an s so let's say for figure one for figure one we have about five square okay for figure two we have about uh that's four and then we got on the outside we got eight we got about 12 square and for figure three we got about that's uh, nine and we got the three set of four nine plus twelve we got 21 square okay so let's see if if this is a quadratic or or, or, or a linear so from 5 to 12 we add 7 from 12 to 28 we add uh, uh 9 add 9 and then from 7 from 7 to 9 we add 2 okay so so we can tell it is it is it is a, a quadratic because over here you know that's squared if you want it square this is square this is square it keeps getting squared so uh now now that we have the second difference which is two so if the to write explicit formula for this function we need to find a first right so a will be the second difference divided by two so the a value so we've done several examples like this uh so if you again if you don't know uh if you are not comfortable on how to write explicit formula for quadratic function or quadratic sequence uh, i have a video about it you can check it out and that will definitely help you so uh now for this so the value of a so a is the second difference divided by two okay second difference divided by two so now the second difference is two so which is two divided by two is one so a value is one okay so we got a value is one then we need to find c c is equal to f of zero c is equal to f of zero but we do not have f we do not have a zero term so we can do go backward to find a zero term so what we're gonna do is uh we know nine minus two is seven and seven minus two would be five okay would you agree with me would be five so that'll be five plus two be seven so now the question is what do i add to five if i do five minus five to get this one right here so to now to get the zero term so we're gonna do five minus five give you what so five minus five is zero so therefore the zero term would be zero so the zero term here would be zero okay so which means c equal f of zero 
is the same thing as saying c is equal and f of 0 is 0. So therefore, c is equal to 0. Okay. So we have the value of a, we have the value of c, and now an f of 1, of course, we need f of 1, f of 1 is equal to 5. It's again from the table right here. So we can see f of 1 is equal to 5. So now what we're going to do is setting f of 1 equal a plus b plus c. So the a value is 1. So we got f of 1 is 5. f of 1 is 5. The a value is 1 plus, we don't know what the b value is, plus b plus c. And the c value is 0. Okay. 1 plus 0 is 1. So we're going to have 5 equal 1 plus b. Now, if you go ahead and subtract 1 on both sides of the equation, so 5 minus 1 is 4, so that will be b. So b is equal to 4. Okay. Now, now we have a, we have b, and we have c. We can go ahead and write out the equation. So which is going to be f of x equal, the a term is 1, so it doesn't matter. So now remember, the, the standard form of the function is f of x equal ax squared plus bx plus c. So uh, f of x equal a, which is 1, so that will be x squared plus bx, so b, the value of b is 4, so 4x plus c, c is 0, so we don't need that. So which means f of x equal, if we factor out the x, we got x plus 4. Okay, so that is for that question. So now, uh, those are both the same thing. So uh, it's depending of how they want, how you're looking to get the answer. So if you want the answer in factored form, so that's that's the second one is what you choose. But the both are the answer. It just I just change the standard form to the factor form. That's about it. All right, so that's that's all I have for for today's lesson, uh, for today's videos. Uh, so thank you for watching. If you have any question, concern, uh, please uh, feel free to uh, drop your question or suggestion in the comment box. And um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time for the next video.